The problem with the science behind internet pornography consumption. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you what that problem is. The main problem is, even though there is a truckload of science, nobody's talking about it. So when I show up on the scene and I start telling the world that there is a lot of science that shows that not only is porn bad for your brain in terms of shrinking the size of your brain and decreasing its activity, making the reward center in your brain be less active so you need higher levels of stimulation to just feel good, that there's studies that show that it will deteriorate your relationship, that it will create and perpetuate mental health challenges like anxiety and depression, that it leads to isolation, never mind all the physical effects that can happen in terms of brain fog and headaches and porn-induced erectile dysfunction. There are so many studies that show there are real psychological, cognitive, and interrelational impact on your life because of pornography consumption, but nobody wants to talk about it. So then when I start talking about it, the naysayers will say that it's fake science. It's pop science. It's sham science, that there's no science behind it. I'm here to tell you if you're interested in the science to go to two main websites. Number one, it's called Fight the New Drug. And the reason that it's called the new drug is because the studies show that pornography consumption is the neuroscience equivalent to a chemical addiction. And basically the chemicals are being produced in your brain, but your nervous system is still becoming addicted to them even though they are self-producing, which to me makes it the most dangerous drug out there, which is why I am here. If you don't believe me, check out one scientific study by Love and Associates, and it's called The Neuroscience of Internet Pornography. It's not an easy read, but you can read the abstract and you'll know for sure that there are negative implications for pornography consumption. And I know that I'm talking to the wrong people uh, if you're watching this video, but I want you to know that if you're struggling with this challenge, there's science that shows that it's real. So your struggle is real and that's why I am here to help you. Okay, I digress. Number two, the second website is called truthaboutporn.org and there's two tabs when you get to the homepage, one about media and one about the science. If you go to the science, you can actually search by a wide variety of different types of scientific studies by what you're interested in. And I know many of you might not be interested in that, but I am obviously. So I visit that website all the time. And many of the videos that I'm making are based on the scientific studies that I'm reading there. And they are not easy to read. I make my way through them and I am a cognitive neuroscientist. I make my way through them and then I try to interpret them and then give you practical suggestions based upon the findings of the scientific studies. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, so I hope this helps you understand there is real science, there's tons of studies, there's more and more every day, honestly. So I am here to help you through that challenge. I want you to uncouple your brain from the screen, couple your brain to a beautiful partner in the world so that you can have connection and you can get your brain back to the point where it is craving the normal stimulus of a connection to another person in this world so you can get on purpose in your work, in your play, in your hobbies, and in your relationship so you can reach your full potential. So let's do this thing and there's science behind it. Uh, if you're looking for help in that journey, please jump over to my website at drtrishley.com because I have programs of different sizes there to hopefully meet everybody's needs. Uh, and remember, control your brain or it'll control you.